Yeah. Alright, you ready? No. Oh, come on, you're always ready. <laughs> what is going on, everybody? I'm here with Richard Papillon. Is that better pronunciation this yeah. time? Yeah, yes, that's good. Yeah. Also known as Shox, Shoxy Jesus, because you are the Messiah of Great Aim. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good, thank you. Nice, wicked. So you just um, come off a victory against Mouse, right? It was 2 1 to you. Little rundown of the match. Uh, I think they were really, I mean, they played really well and they had some really good tactics we didn't expect. For example, we lost cash, uh, especially when we were City and their T side were, was really strong because they played it really slowly, you know, like, uh, it's like Navi played this style in like uh, two years ago and we didn't expect it and we didn't find the solution to counter it during the game. Right now, you guys are looking pretty strong at this tournament. The past kind of, I don't know, two or three months, you haven't been maybe as strong as you could have been. Do you feel like you're turning it around now? Maybe you disagree with what I'm saying, but like, how do you feel you're doing as a team right now and uh, coming off the past three months or so of results? Um, I think we really ha had a hard period. Yeah. It was really tough. And that's why, uh, for example, um, I uh, deciding to, I mean, we all decided uh, in the team to put me as an in-game leader. Oh, you're in-game leading now? Not, no, but I was, oh, okay. like since two months I was right. leading. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And uh, because, yeah, we, ha we had a hard period and we didn't know how to, to make better, you know, because everyone was tired or... Some yeah, some personal some stuff as well. Yeah, yeah. some red stuff, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, okay, uh, let's. Uh, I'm gonna make the call. So it's gonna be new and stuff. And you know, when you got some new thing in the team, it always like grows, uh, grow up the motivation. So that's why we tried to do for the past two months. But now, like it's over. Since one week, uh, we decided uh, to put Happy back as an in-game leader because we are really big events coming uh, on. The fact that we had a break with me and Happy as the game leader, like everyone is really happy. Yeah, happy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really happy to, to get back happy in uh, the role of in-game leader. Nice. So it's just like, it's only since three, four days we are doing this. So we're just gonna need time for us. Definitely is like um, practice yeah. uh, for the next events. And the next big event, Cologne, am I right? Or is there anything before that? No, no, it's, yeah. uh, it's uh, ESL, ESEA in one week. For us, it's, it's, uh, it's like practice for the next events. But I know even this time, it's feeling like we are still a bit shaky from some uh, kind of rounds. But uh, at the meantime, we are sometimes making really good runs uh, that we didn't make since long time. So, yeah, I'm confident for the next weeks. So I, I've missed out. I, I forgot ESL, e ESEA is next week, right? And so uh, how are you feeling for that? Let's, well, firstly, Gfinity, you, got, you think you've got a good shot taking this title here? Uh, I think we can, yeah. Do you know who you're playing next yet or no? Uh, it's uh, playing, it's gonna be played right now. It's Dignitas or Titan. All right, but ESL, ESEA finals next week. You've had to, um, you had, you were quite close to not qualifying for that, am I correct? And so you fought through that and now you're there in the land next week. How are you feeling for it? Uh, we are feeling really happy about the qualifier um, because like we were down to four into five lose in the league and we finished with 16 win and 6 lose so like we had a record with uh, 12 win for 1 lose which is very really good so we are really happy we we came back from this and now we are expecting to make a good show at this event any sort of particular tactics or practice regimes that you'll do other than competing here that's kind of bringing the team to the top performance that you're hoping to produce there like any particular sort of practice that you're doing uh, a lot uh, with uh, tactics time you okay. know so focusing back on getting the tactics from happy the in-game leading and maybe the mid-game calls yeah. and stuff like that like we are we are, I mean, we are back to work. <laughs> yeah. You specifically, just a bit about your play style. I love the way you play. You're great with a rifle, you're great with an AWP. How did you practice to get your aim so good? I think I've asked you this before personally, and I might have said it before on camera, but I want to ask you again. How did you get to be so good at aiming? Uh, it's like two different things. Like, first, of course, I did a lot of uh, deathmatch and stuff. We, like, kind of awful weapons, I don't care. I can use uh, every weapon in this oh, match. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes uh, I do like 200 frags with uh, P2K, sometimes yeah, yeah, that, yeah. 100 with the AWP, 100 yeah. with AIM4, AK and stuff. But the main thing, uh, to be honest, is uh, only that like I'm 23 years right now and I'm playing CS since 1.5, yeah. so since 14 years old. 
playtime then and just practicing in match and stuff like that. And then also, yeah, you pick up the AWP sometimes. I like that sort of hybrid playstyle. Was it hard to develop that side of your game or did it just kind of come naturally to you? Uh, it really came naturally to me because like when I got the AWP, I feel like uh, more uh, confident. I don't know why, because you know, it's like only one bullet and he's dead. It's not yeah. like uh, the rifle and stuff. So I don't do it uh, often, but when I take it, because it's different, I, I, I love everything which is different. And so it gives it maybe it makes it very hard to predict what you're going to do for yeah. the other team. Yeah, true. So, well, uh, I think you're, you've got a great shot at this tournament at ESL next week, but the big, big thing on the horizon, right, surely is the major Cologne ESL at the end of August, right? Yeah. To be honest, it's going to depend on our results in the next event, like in the next month, because we have like three or four events, uh, like this one, ESL, ESCA, um, yes, WC. It depends on our results in the next week because yeah. we are playing Definity, ESL, ESCA, ESWC, maybe Phase 50 through Qualify, Civo. Yeah. So we got wow. four events for sure and potentially five. So if we are in good shape, we can win Cologne. I have no doubt about this. But if, it's, if we're going to be shaky or stuff, it's going to be hard. Arguably a top three team, one of the best in the world, undoubtedly. I think the next major, you're going to have a great shot. Shocks, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. I hope all of you out there um, taking in what he said. Uh, any shout outs to your teams, whatever. I'll make sure everyone follow him on Twitter. It'll be in the description box. All in black. What? All in black. All in black? Yeah. <laughs> the casino. <laughs> all right, everybody. That's it. Richard, thank you. Peace. Thanks.